Here we're asked to divide and assume the variables represent non-zero quantities. So we have a binomial divided by a monomial. Whenever dividing by a monomial, we divide each term in the numerator by the monomial in the denominator. So looking at our example, we have six x to the seventh minus twelve x to the third divided by negative two x to the seventh. And this is going to be equal to the first term in the numerator, six x to the seventh, divided by negative two x to the seventh. And then we have minus twelve x to the third, divided by negative two x to the seventh. And now we simplify each fraction individually. So looking at our first fraction, simplifying the coefficients, we have six divided by negative two, which equals negative three. Now looking at the factors of x, notice how we have x to the seventh divided by x to the seventh. Here we should recognize anything divided by itself is going to be equal to one. Again, assuming the variables don't represent zero. But if we do apply the quotient property of exponents shown here, when dividing the bases of the same, notice how we subtract the exponents. So if we did apply this exponent rule, we would have x raised to the power of seven minus seven, which equals zero. And then we have minus, simplifying the second fraction, we have twelve divided by negative two, which equals negative six. So instead of writing minus negative six, we can just write plus positive six. And then we have x to the third divided by x to the seventh, which would give us x raised to the power of three minus seven, which equals negative four. And now simplifying again, x to the zero is equal to one, so negative three times one is equal to negative three. And now for the second term, we don't want to leave this with a negative exponent. And notice how the exponent of negative four is only attached to x. So again, looking back at our exponent rules, a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of positive m. So if this is in fraction form with a denominator of one, if we move this down to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So if we write this in fraction form with a denominator of one, we would move x raised to the power of negative four down to the denominator. And because this six has an exponent of one, it stays in the numerator. So we'd have plus six over x raised to the power of positive four. This would be our simplified quotient. And looking at the second term one more time, notice how it should make sense that we have x to the fourth in the denominator because if we go back up to this step here, notice how we have seven factors of x in the denominator and three factors of x in the numerator, and therefore we have four more factors of x in the denominator, which again, when simplified, gives us x to the fourth in the denominator. I hope you found this helpful.